Dowry to students and parents, welcome to Family Worship. This week we'll be covering our fifth question for week five of Family Worship. Last week, we looked at God's supreme creation, humans. This week, we're wondering about everything else. Question five, what else did God create? The answer is, God created all things by his powerful word. And all his creation was very good. Everything flourished under his loving rule. Let's break this down. First, God created all things by his powerful word. We've already established in previous weeks that God is the creator of everything. But how did he bring all things into existence? By his powerful word. In Genesis chapter 1, God created all things by the spoken word. He spoke and it was. You and I, we can't do that. In fact, no human can bring something into being from nothing. Take the couch or chair you're sitting in right now. We would say that was created, but not in the same way that God creates. The materials used to make that couch already existed. We just assembled it into something new. God created everything from nothing by his word. He can do this because he is powerful. The God of the Bible is able to do all that he wants. Now it's important to note that the answer says powerful word. If you look closely, you'll notice that powerful word is capitalized. Why? Maybe because, as it says in John chapter 1, verses 1 through 3, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through him, and without him was not anything made that was made. Jesus Christ himself is the word, capital W. Jesus is just as much creator as the Father. God made all things by his Son, the Word of God. Let's look at the next part. God created all things by his powerful Word, and all his creation was very good. Each day, God made something new and said that was good. But on the sixth day of creation, God looked at all that he had made as a whole and said that it was very good. This is because his good creation was complete. It was very good. Now we must ask ourselves, Is God's creation still very good, or has sin destroyed that? The answer is yes and no. Let me explain. Creation is still a good creation of God, but its nature has been corrupted by the effects of sin. Let's use humans as an example. Humanity is a good creation of God, yet humans are not good by nature. In fact, we're the opposite. Yet, we can still be called a good creation because it it was God that made us, and we are his image. As a creative thing, we are good, but by nature, we are not good. As Jesus said, no one is good except God alone. In the same way, all of creation is very good because God made it, but the nature of creation is affected by sin. We see that in natural disasters all over the world, but even creation is longing for the return of the Savior who will renew the old creation into a new creation purged from all sin. What good news. Not only was creation very good, but it flourished under God's loving rule. God as king of creation ruled over his creation. And as a king who always has his creation's best interest at heart, creation flourished. God's love for his own creation spurns him to rule over it as a loving king. A loving king will have a flourishing kingdom. We know that Christ's return will inaugurate a new creation that will flourish eternally and unchangeably in the love of God. All those who are in Christ will get to enjoy this new creation and a flourishing creation. So again, our answer to question five, what else did God create, is this. God created all things by his powerful word, and all his creation was very good. Everything flourished under his loving rule. Now it's time for you and your family to discuss this as a group. See you next week.